Hey guys, welcome back to another wedding anniversary trip flashbacks. In 2011, we drive up to the central Oregon coast, starting in Florence, where we go to the Aceta Head Lighthouse. We make our way up to a little town of Yachts. And then we continue north and explore the Seal Beach area. And take in a fabulous sunset. We end up in Newport, Nye Beach. We go to the Oregon Coast Aquarium and Yakina Bay Lighthouse and Yakina Head Lighthouse. And then in 2012, we traveled to Asheville, North Carolina to explore the Biltmore Estate. That was built for George Vanderbilt, 1889-95, to see this fabulous mansion. It's known for its walled gardens, rose gardens, and the conservatory that housed many different kinds of plants. And then as a side trip, we travel to Smoky Mountain National Park on the Blue Ridge Parkway. And then in 2013, we fly to our favorite Hawaiian island of Kauai, where we stay on the south side of the island near Poipu Beach. Here's our condo that overlooked this bay. And every morning you could see green sea turtles swimming about. Love Hawaiian sunsets. People out catching the surf. Just down the road from our condo was the spouting horn. And we take a day drive to the Waimea Canyon State Park. Another beautiful sunset. My favorite place to snorkel was Poipu Beach. You see monk seals sunning themselves in the sand. Wailua Falls. And I'm not going to try to say that one. This was Salt Pond Beach. And another Poipu Beach sunset. Then we went to Allerton Gardens National Tropical Botanical Gardens, where a lot of movies have been filmed from Pirates of the Caribbean to Jurassic Park, where they found the dinosaur eggs. We traveled to the north side of the island. Which is more the rainy, lush tropical side of the island. We had a fabulous time on the island of Kauai. Then in 2014, we take our first Caribbean cruise from Fort Lauderdale down to St. Thomas on board the Caribbean Princess. Our first port of call was Grand Turk. Love the color of the water. This island is where John Glenn splashed down near there on his Mercury space capsule. Then we, our next port of call was Puerto Rico, where we visit Old San Juan. And we take a tour of this old Spanish fort.
Love the architecture of all the old buildings in downtown. And our next port of call was the island of St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands, where we take a trip around the island to see all the sights. And this is the famous Megan Bay. It was really humid there. Then our final port of call is Princess K's, Princess Cruz's private island, where you can rent toys to play in the water or rent one of these little cabins to hide from the sun. Then we get back to Fort Lauderdale and we take a drive down the Florida Keys and we go to Everglades National Park, where I never have seen it rain so hard. And finally, in 2015, we take our second Alaska cruise up the Inside Passage. This time we fly to the city of Vancouver, British Columbia, stay an extra day to explore the city and all the sites. We board the Star Princess, again to travel to Ketchikan, first port of call. At this time, the weather was fabulous. Blue skies, sunshine, nice and warm. You could actually go in the swimming pool. That day, there were so many ships in port, it was really crowded. Our next port of call is Juneau, Alaska, where we take a tram above the city to see all the sights. And then we end up in Skagway again, also on another beautiful day, it's where you can see all the snow-capped mountains. Another busy place with all the cruise ships in port. Land of the Midnight Sun. Our favorite part of this cruise was going to Glacier Bay National Park. Only accessible by ships or boat. Another beautiful cloudless day. And after leaving Glacier Bay, we head to College Fjord. Another beautiful day with these tidewater glaciers. And then we arrive in Whittier around midnight Next morning, we aboard buses and travel to Anchorage, Alaska, where we spend an extra day seeing the sights around Anchorage. This was a really neat museum. Had a display of the Alaska Pipeline. So there you have it, another five years of wedding anniversary trip flashbacks. Thanks for watching.